I need something else. I go to Jake's melon stand. Old Jake's been there for a couple years. Who am I kidding, a couple years. He's been there for a decade. He's got the best fruit in town, best vegetables. I could feel them checking for the ripeness, and I know they're going to be good. But the term good is hard to define. You see, I'm looking for something better than good. I'm looking for something that I haven't felt since my days back at elementary school. This school. I used to play on this playground, swing on this swing with all my friends who have long since been out of my life on to take on the world for their own. And it's just not fair to think. I used to play on this, used to sit in here trading Pokemon cards, a fad that used to put a light in my eye, a spark up there. <laughs> oh God, it's just, it's just not even fair anymore. Time goes by way too fast. Turns out the bartender decided to flee town. But lucky for me, I found three of the worst, most rotten criminals on this side of the town. The first one just sits there laughing in my face. Defiant. The second one's a little more slick, a little more cool, calm. While the first one keeps laughing and just playing games. And I'm growing sick of him. I tell the second one that I know who he is and what he's done. Tell the first one that I'm going to break his arm if he doesn't answer the questions after this glass of water. But he drinks the water. And what I don't realize is that he's getting ready to spit it in my face. But I retaliate and smack him a good one. The second one still doesn't crack as easily. He doesn't get as mad as easy. He just kind of sits there and eyes me down. I tell him that I'm going to frame him if he doesn't give me answers. But he spits in my face and I crack him a good one. These guys had no information and I only have one man left to question. The field of my old high school, I guess you can call it a field, it used to be something better, it used to have meaning, purpose. The hot warm sun reminds me of how lonely I really am. The shadow that follows me is only thing I have. As I move my hand, it moves with me. And it'll be there with me forever. That may be the only thing that I'm certain of. They put in a new baseball field about a month ago. Money out of my pockets and I don't even get to use it. For $2.5 million, two baseball fields should be made at least of grass. What we used to play on, now it's artificial turf. It's all upside down, everything's different. But I can't live in the past forever. I guess maybe some things just weren't meant to last. I finally reached my third man, finding 
the most difficult and sophisticated of all three. This one knows how to play ball, so I throw him a cigarette to calm him down. Something's off about this guy, and I'm ready for him. He smokes his butt, staring at me, turning to me, not saying a word, not cooperating. The flick of a cigarette's too much, and I go to take him down. Oh yes, I seem to have turned the tables on this so-called hero. Seems like his story's going to end very nicely in a bloodbath where his brains will be all over the walls, all over my face and all over the floors. But I want to take my time with him. He can't move and there's nowhere he can go except to hell. His body falls somewhat gracefully. Every jailer, every prison guard, and every warrant heard that shot. But I've been locked up for so long, this is more of a home than a punishment. And so I sit here where I'll be rotting for the rest of my life.